735. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> 735 on this December 9th. I want to welcome to microphone number two, Lori Gregory. And this continues what we're trying to start now is uh, under the new ownership, local, 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 local. So we're inviting folks in to talk about businesses at Christmas. And Lori Gregory, Gregory Jewelers, microphone's all yours. Oh, my. That's a lot of pressure. Wow. you got 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, my. listen, you want your listenership to go down? <laughs> I don't know. I can tell you some funny stories about my kids that would keep you listening, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, you know, I, I was thinking on the way here this morning. I am a, I'm sentimental and, um, I absolutely love this time of year. And, and, uh, you know, one of the things about, about my job that I love is I'm sort of, um, peering in the window to everyone's special occasions and events because I, I know about them before they're going to happen. I know what she's getting. I know how bad she wants it, (laughs) you know? And so, and the other wonderful thing is, um, it's happy. Like every, you know, people are, um, you know, they're, especially the men that come in this time of year, I can't say they're all happy. They do grumble a little, but usually by the time we're, you know, we're finished, they'll put a little smile on and, you know, they're still touching the back of their wallet, you know, cause I've heard them a little bit, but, but anyway, uh, love to, um, be part of all those celebrations. That's a blessing that something that I, that my staff and I, and we love it. We talk about it and we always on Christmas Eve before we go home, we will, just kind of speculate about who's just going to be speechless, you know, and, uh, and, uh, so anyway, I, I, I love what I do. I feel very blessed to get to do it. That is That's cool. Funny. There was an old song. It's something like a diamond is just a stone. But when you put love behind it, Absolutely. it becomes so much more. So. And and that's another yeah. thing, too, about jewelry in particular is, you know, it's not, I mean, there are lots of gifts out there and there are lots of special gifts, but things that transcend generations, you know, mm-hmm. things. And I can't tell you how many times a day someone brings me a ring and says, well, this was my great grandmother's and she wore it every day. Mm-hmm. And it so um, mm-hmm. that's another thing that's so wonderful about uh, jewelry is that it uh and that's why I, I think that it's the perfect gift <laughs> because it does um it's it's more than just you know the value of it at that very moment but more than anything and i don't know about you got your guys so you know everyone has that christmas memory that you could almost close your eyes and remember that day i mean i and 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 i I can almost smell what the room smelled like you know different mm-hmm. things and one of my was a moped it didn't have anything to do with with jewelry, but, but Christmas just brings up those memories. Either one of you got something that, or Christmas, even just a moment maybe with your dad or maybe, you know, with one of your brothers or sisters that you just don't forget. Cause yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody does. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just the whole time of year. I mean, you know, thinking back on the people that were living, my grandparents yes. and all that, just awesome memories. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, that's, I, again, I'm, I'm sentimental. I love this time of year and I love, our community is so good to give. And, you know, yeah. seems like we really kind of think about those less fortunate than us. I don't know about you all, but this time of year, I'm so, I'm thankful. I feel so, so thankful. And, um, but, but folks in this area just step up to the challenge mm-hmm. every single time. And it makes me love, love being a part of this community. It makes me very proud. Talk a little bit about the Downtown Merchants Association. I think I've got a, the wrong one. That's okay. I'll tell you. Yeah, go ahead. We, um, you know, we, we of course love downtown, and we believe that it's charming and that it's it's still vibrant, and it is. You know, we have uh, the farmers market down there, and there's just lots of good little quaint businesses down there, and and we stay quite busy. It it, it really is a, a bustling little place. But the downtown merchants, we went together this year and did a little thing called the downtown dash, and it was like a scavenger hunt. It was it, and just there were I think six of us. But bought a little card for $10, and you went to all the businesses, and you had to find the picture that was on your card, get it stamped. And at the end, we each gave away $100 gift cards. We Well, we did a drawing, and then the people, you know, we mm-hmm. gave those away. So anyway, um, all the money went to the Gamma House, which, Good. you know, Gamma has uh, the Yellow House thrift store down on the square. And then it's kind of our neighbor, you know, just mm-hmm. down at the end of Main Street. So as a downtown association, we feel that, um, you know, it, it's nice to, to support that. And, um, so anyway, uh, we also sold, I was telling them before we sold hot chocolate at the Christmas parade, which we're going to do every year. Last year we sold $245 worth. 
We sold five hundred thirty-one dollars worth of hot chocolate in less than awesome. an hour. We year. just may have to do some volunteering, Jerry. Uh, it was so fun. And volunteer it was the, the air, the air <laughs> way. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> it really wasn't. No, it, no. Well, five hundred cups in an hour. Well, no, it wasn't five because we. It was five dollars because it came in a like a mug that they got to keep. It wasn't oh, just a paper well. thing you threw away, so we didn't make any trash. But um, and I had some kids. The FBLA came and helped us. Uh, kind of pedal it through the crowd. My daughter is in that, and she's 17, and so she was out there helping. And it was just super fun, and people are so wonderful. They just yeah. – um, there was a lot of talk. As I said, the mural that's on the front of the building next door to me – or of my building, um, people were just loving, and they were just – Which is the nativity. It is the nativity, and, and yes, it is. And uh, so anyway, they were excited to be there and, and very supportive of that. And uh, so it was a fun night, fun night, raise some money for Gamma House. That's always good. Whenever you can help a charity like that, mm -hmm. I call it soul money. You can't put a price on you it. You sure it's can't. You sure good can't. Good feelings. It is. You know, lots of people are, are good. I was saying to give. People want to buy gifts for the kids that live there, buy gifts for the mothers. But the thing that, you know, I always say is we, you know, the electric bill has to be paid. The water bill has to be paid. And so as much as we like to go buy something and give it, you know, our money goes a, a long, long way and is vital. Um, and, and I'm on the board at the Gamma House, so I'm a little biased because I know there are other fabulous charities in this area. But um, we we house 100, we, we will house 100 women and children in the course of a year for $80,000. That's our budget. Wow. That is a God thing. No other explanation. So um, anyway, Downtown Association loves wow. to help. My goodness. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a God thing. It Do is. you all need any help from our listeners? Anything you all are um, needing this time of year? I, I know, I know. All the children and all the women have been adopted for Christmas, as far as gifts for. Mm. And you know, people are so sweet to even think to make sure that mamas have gifts to, from them to give mm. to the kiddos, because you know you forget about that. So that's covered. I think just monetary donations at the end of the year is is really you know the need. Of course, always it tied or. You know, uh, paper towels or toilet paper, those are all things that um, food is never an issue. That's another thing about this community that is awesome. And I don't want to name any particular ones, but there are lots of restaurants and grocery stores that give, 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 give. And so huh. the women, it's never, the pantry is always full. So no one in that house is ever hungry. That's never a problem. So basically money would be the best thing it as would. far as the bills mm -hmm. and all that. It really would. It really would. And it how would they contact just the Gamma House? Mm -hmm. um, I caught you off guard. You then. did, <laughs> and I. <laughs> Sorry. About I will. That. I will. I'll get that information here in just a second. Right. We'll take a break here in a couple minutes, and we'll get that. That number. Wow, eighty thousand a year. I know, I know. For that many people, uh -huh. yeah, that's pretty impressive. Uh -huh. Well, and and the other thing too that wow. that I love about it is it's um. I always say this: it is a hand up and not a handout. Right. It is not a place. If you want to come and flop down and stay, you're not going to get to stay. We we have a program. I mean, you have to be clean. You have to be committed to bettering yourself. You have to get a job. Um, but when the women, and most of them are willing to, to do, follow the program, you know, we help them find child care. We help them find jobs. It's just a brief little moment for them to stay and not worry about the bills. Stay with us. Save your money so that we can get you back into, you know, we have girls that are going to college. We have girls That's who've gotten awesome. their GED. Um, and, and not to mention, we break that cycle for those kiddos, you know. And so um, I have three of my own. So every year at Christmas, I, my favorite thing is to go to Christmas at Gamma House. And, you know, I, I usually cry all the way home because it's just I mean when you see a child open a pair of shoes or a coat I can tell you my little turkeys are, would be like a coat <laughs> mom you know where's my toy or whatever and these kids are just I mean packages of socks and underwear and just really makes you um makes you stop and, and think it really does so amazing That's let's go awesome. ahead and take that break I was talking about visiting with Lori Gregory Gregory Jewelers stick around we're gonna be right back 747 continue our discussion with Lori Gregory 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 Jewelers I'll spit it out here in a minute <laughs> and Gamma what? House and Gamma yes, House yes yes yeah. yes you know um something else that occurred to me I was I was thinking about earlier uh, back to Gamma House really quick the phone number is 425 9186 
and you can contact Sandy. She's our director. If, if Give me you're, that one more time so I'm making a note. Uh-huh, 425-9186. Okay. And that's... And the director's... Sandy, Sandy. is her name. Mm-hmm. Okay. She'll be glad to help. Yes. Um, now I'm going to transition to a completely different subject. And I lost my train of thought. Hmm. Does that ever happen? All the time. <laughs> Too young for that. Welcome to 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's already been on a two-mile run. It's kind of hard yeah. to cut jokes. On my side of the mic, it's called dead air. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about me. I can always take up dead air. That is not. Ask my husband. <laughs> he said before, do you ever have a quiet moment? No, not much. <laughs> Not much. Well, while you're trying to think about what you forgot, uh, let's talk about Gregory Jewelers and all you have to offer for the Christmas lineup. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And we were talking about sentimentality earlier. Okay. Yes. Here we go. So one of the things that um, everybody loves um, in our store, well, there's lots of things. And, you know, we remodeled this this summer, it's which was, gorgeous. it really turned out beautiful. And I have to say my husband, who is Gregory Company Construction, is amazing. He's not just a great husband. He's an awesome contractor. And it just, it's its absolutely beautiful. So I'm so tickled. But, what, you know, the, the inside uh, walls may have changed. Some paint may have changed. Nothing else has changed. And one thing we worked really hard at doing was we took what we were doing before and we said, okay, we need gifts that are less expensive. And then we need some gifts that are more expensive so we can broaden those that we serve. And one of the things on the less expensive end, because let's face it, as Christmas gets closer, our pocketbooks get smaller. Um, Pandora, uh, it's, it's, it's an epidemic. I mean, it is countrywide now and it, a great company. But I love because they make, um, they started out making a, a modern day charm bracelet is basically what it is. And uh, the prices start at $25. Now, I've been in fine jewelry for 25 years, and I can tell you that a $25 gift has been um, hard to come by in the jewelry industry, uh, especially when it comes to fine jewelry. And so I love that um, it's something that you, you buy the bracelet and then you add the pieces, just like a charm bracelet. But men love it because they they know what they're not coming in, wandering around, trying to figure out what in the world to buy this woman. They know she has it. They know she loves it. And they know her. And there's like 700 different beads that you can add to it some that say mom some that say sister you know some that commemorate the fact that you're a nurse or or whatever um so that's been something that's been really really popular and um again it's easy you know for the guys but uh another thing that we do we try really hard to do is to we pay attention to the women that come in our store and we get to know them so that when the men come in we can kind of direct them. I went to a gun store once to buy my husband a gun and, um, I don't know anything about guns. And so I walked in, but I knew I needed a Colt 45. Yay. I knew that. Mm -hmm. And the guy looked at me and he said, there's 50 different ones. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so I left, I didn't buy anything because I, I don't know. So we tried to not let that happen. So if you, one of you come in the store and say, I want a diamond ring, I'm not going to look at you and go, we got 462 of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, what does she do? Does she, is she a nurse? Is she an educator? Does she stay at home? Because that tells me a lot about what she can wear comfortably, you know, and, and oh, <clears throat> her style. Okay. If you're a nurse, it can't stick up or you're going to poke somebody, you know, as far as rings are concerned. Or maybe a necklace is better because it's not something that gets in the way. So hmm. we try to kind of um, to really be a service because guess what? Small business is going to survive. It's going to be customer service. It's, it's you know, these big box retailers, you can order it online in five minutes and have it here. But you cannot, they can't possibly know who you're buying for, what their tastes and styles are. And so. Um, I'm a firm believer in shopping local. Me too. Me too. And keeping I, the money here. You know, Absolutely. And I love the downtown location. Downtown is. And, you know, uh, that's another thing about Mountain Home. We're a small town, but. um you know, we have some really nice stores and even jewelry stores. I mean, I, 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 I feel very fortunate to be among other professionals in this town. So you don't need to leave. We may not have what you want, but I promise if you go across town between the two of us, you'll find something. And so, um, but yes, absolutely shopping local. The other thing is who's, I mean, we'll wrap it. We're going to put it in a beautiful bag. I mean, it's going to be a whole presentation where, you know, if, if you buy from a big box retailer, here you go. See you later. Nobody cares, you know. Mm -hmm, and so, mm -hmm. um, yes. Big the service after the sale. When I was stopped by to talk to you yesterday, I noticed all the watches. Uh-huh. 
okay, what happens if something happens to the, the band or the, the working? You can go right back. Hey. And I have somebody on the premises that can fix any of it, anything, anything. We service anything, everything we sell, you know, so that's, yeah, that's another thing that you're not going to find, uh, yeah. you know, well, we can send it back to the company. And let me tell you, there is no woman on planet Earth who wants to be without her wedding ring for more than a day. <laughs> she just doesn't, you know, mm-hmm. or when people get engaged, you know, she just got her ring. She doesn't want to wait two weeks for you to send it off. And so, um, but I just, uh, you know, I think, um, I, I think jewelry, just like I said before, it's just such a neat gift that transcends generations and and, and time and it, a keepsake. Um, I have an ad on right now that says, my grandmother gave me a ring in the fourth grade. I still have it. It's my favorite thing. It was hers. Her boyfriend gave it to her when she was wow. 15. And um, we hear those stories, you know, all all day, every day and love every one of them. I don't know if you'd call it jewelry or not, but my grandfather started a uh, railroad right at the time World War II broke out. Uh-huh. And I've got his late 30s Hamilton railway watch with 17 jewels. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And, yeah. and you know, that's another thing. We service those. You, know, you, you do? Uh-huh. We service anything. I'll bring Absolutely. it to you. I need it fixed. Probably. Well, a lot of times the oil will dry up when it sits and it, it'll, you know, need to hmm. be cleaned in oil. But... But again, a keepsake, something that you are not going to part is with. It's Railway Special, uh-huh. and it's a pocket watch. Uh-huh. And in that day, and I'm running out of time here, those things had to be specially calibrated by the railroad companies uh-huh. because we didn't have all the computerization. You know. No cell phones, really? Yeah, not World War II. <laughs> Can I just touch on something going yep. back to shop locally? I just want to make this clear. For every dollar that's spent here on a local shop, 68 cents stays in the community. Absolutely. When you shop at box stores, 43 cents on that oh, dollar stays here. Stuff. Wow. When you shop online, a big fat zero right. stays here. That's right. Or if you go out of town. So just keep that in mind this year. That's, that's it. Yeah, okay, that's good instructions stuff. for today. Have breakfast at Dinky Diner, then run over to Gregory Jewelers for all your Christmas <laughs> that's news. That's exactly right, and you'll have a perfect day. You're there in you the go. Gamma House. you got to <laughs> go. That's right. Yeah. Contribution, anything. That's I mean, right. I love it. That's that would great. help out. Sounds like a good day. Well, thanks to you all for what you're doing for this community because it matters, you know, in, in um, you know, Giving these folks, like the gentleman that was before me this morning, a, a chance to talk about what they do. Advertising is expensive. Small business, mm-hmm. you know, uh, money's not just, you know, growing on the trees in the front yard. That's right. That's so. right. We're under new ownership. And awesome. New, new thinking all the way around. That's so, right. want to invite any, if you want to be on the show, give us a call, Jerry. Give him a uh, 425 497. Call Jerry. He'll get you on the show. We'd you. like to get as many local people in as we can before Christmas. Absolutely. There's the theme song. I think we need to go. Thanks, Lori, for being here. Thank you, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. See you then.